Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. That's right. Uh, this is my latest tutorial. This is a fun and easy project. This is how to make the Mace of Molag bottle. Right? If you're an Elder Scrolls fan, you know what this is. Molag bottle's mace, right? Fun project. Um, easy to do. I give you everything, practically everything you need. Let me just show you how easy this project is. All you need to make this project is one sheet of foam board. Can be even be a dirty one like this one. Um, a wooden dowel, and you could get away with not even having a wooden dowel. That's what goes down the center of it. This is just an eighth inch wood. Costs like 30 cents. Um, some paint. A hot glue gun. You could get away with regular glue, but a hot glue gun's better because it's quick. And the template. That's it. Template has everything you need. You trace out the parts on your foam board, you cut them out, and you put it together, just like I show you in this video. So um, thanks for watching my videos. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. Lots of fun and interesting and creative videos. I got all kinds of stuff coming. I got a whole bunch of pro projects in the queue um, that we've made that are done, and I need to edit the videos and post them. So I got a lot of stuff coming up. And I got, so um, stay tuned for, for all of that. Um, let's launch into the introduction, and then let's do how to make the mace of Molag Ball. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, rattle boxes, and animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, print up the template. The link is in the description of this video down below. You can go to the web, my website and get this template and cut it out. Cut out all the various pieces. And it's actually, I mean, it seems like a lot of pieces, but there's a lot of duplicates. Now take pieces one, two, and three, those make up the body of the mace, and place them like this, and I have a picture in the template, you can see it, and tape them together, because that's the major shape of the mace. We're going to use this to trace out the parts. So put, them, put that on your sheet of foam board, and trace it, and make three of them, trace three of them. And uh, scrunch them together somewhat be so you can fit everything on one sheet of foam board. I kind of like the fact that everything can fit on one sheet. So there you go. Now I use a marker to go over it so you can see it nice, but one, two, three, and then all the various little pieces. Very nice, see, one piece of foam board. So now cut out all those pieces. And they're all rather distinct so you really don't have to worry about numbering them. Let me give you a quick tip on cutting foam board. You make three passes. One pass to cut the top paper. The second pass cuts the foam. And the third pass, you press down hard and you cut through the bottom layer of paper. That's how you cut foam board. So let's put this thing together. Grab your dowel, put it like this, and then trim it to size for your mace. I, I forget how many inches it is, but you custom fit it to the size of your mace. And you can do this without a dowel, it just takes a little bit of tinkering. So let's glue our first um, mace piece to that dowel. Looks good. And then let's glue the second piece to it. See now, it's, it's like the rule of th threes here. We want them to be evenly spaced in thirds. And I'll, I'll show you a side view of this so you can understand what I mean. But see, you're not putting it flat. There's like an angle between the two of them. So you go about third of the way around the dowel and you, you place another vein like this. And you glue it in. Looks good. So let's do that third one, see? There we go. So now you can understand how it's thirds to make that mace shape.
Very nice. The major part of this mace is done. Now we're going to do all the details, but let's take a look at the side view. See it like this? So you see thirds? It's almost like you're doing the fins of a model rocket in thirds like that. See how it's nice and evenly around. So let's put on all the various little parts. Take the center vein like this and put it like this. See the point goes to the point and the point goes to the point. And you glue that in. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do all the parts on this one space here between these two pieces. We'll do everything. And you would fl flip the mace and do the to the second third and then the third third, but I won't take you through all of that. I'll just show you one complete side here. So you glue that vein on like that. And then you glue the two smaller veins on like this. And test them first before you glue them because there's a wrong way and a right way to put these on. You, you know, you don't want to put glue on the wrong sides and then, and then have it not fit. So when you put those on like that, Keep them nice and straight. Mine is a little crooked. We're going to straighten it out there a little bit. Now we put the horns on. Right like this. Put glue on the end of the horn and then glue it to the side to the foam board like this. It holds better like this. And you put the other horn on. Now we put the skull base on. This is a little um, platform that we're, we're going to um, glue the skull picture to. And I actually do that out and I give you that skull. You put that on here right between the horns, about like that. Kind of looks like a rabbit, doesn't it, with the ears. Um, so now let's do the handle. And this is optional, but you can trim off the edges of the handle like this, the, the sides, so they're at an angle, because it'll make a better fit there on the actual uh, mace. And you glue that there like that. Very nice. So that's it. All the pieces are done on this one section. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You flip the mace to the next rotation, and then you do the same thing there, right there. And then you do it one more time. You do all of those, and then you flip it again, and you do it to the third section. And that's, then the mace is all assembled. Very, very nice. I like it. Very unusual design. I actually did a bunch of different designs for this to try to figure out what looked kind of nice and how to make it three-dimensional and this is what I came up with. I'm happy with it. So let's paint it. And this is optional. It depends on the paint you're going to use. If you're going to use like a, you know, a, some types of paint like oil paints or something, they may eat at that foam so you can actually put Mod Podge or white glue on the edges of the foam like that to protect it. Because that, the, some paints will actually melt that foam that's in between the paper. So test your paint first. And if it eats at the foam, seal it with Mod Podge or white glue. And so then, now we go ahead and spray paint the whole thing white and silver, excuse me. And then I did some detail work with black like this. So a first coat of silver, the whole thing, and then detail work with black. And we're just about done here. We do the handle, and you can go crazy with this, do anything you want. I just use brown paint. And I did it in this direction to give it like a wrapped handle kind of look. The streaks in the paint kind of make it look like it's wrapped. Somewhat. Some rivets to finish it off. Right here. And that's it. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this project. It was, I kind of just enjoyed the simple complexity of it. I don't know how to explain it. It's actually a pretty simple project, but it was actually complex to figure out how to make it look good in, in three dimensions. You know, it was a lot of fun. I love working with foam board. You probably know that. So the final thing is going. I said I gave you those skulls. And I think I've updated them in the eyes of red for the new one for, for you. But you cut those out and you just glue them on somehow to the bunny rabbit platform. <laughs> just like that. And that's it. You do three of those all the way around. And that's it. Your mace is done. <clears throat> 
So, um, you know, lots of stuff on my website at StoneyCastle.com, all kinds of stuff, not just, you know, weapons. I get all kinds of subjects. Um, you probably know that already. Let's finish off the mace, and there's the medieval, uh, excuse me, the Storm of the Castle diorama in the background. We're going to get working on that again pretty soon because it's starting to come along. So if you'd make this project, send me a picture. I will put it on my website. If you have ideas for projects, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you think. Here's a couple more projects. On top is the glass dagger from Skyrim. We cast an acrylic. That's a fun project. And below is the septum from Skyrim. 